Boom. There is an Earth-directed solar storm headed our way. Boom. Did you see that? It'll be here about the 23rd. Boom. There's a bunch of chaos building across the Pacific headed towards the West Coast. That's wild. And I'm over here super duper tracking the possible ice and then super flood that'll be heading Texas's way starting on Monday. And like I said, we're tracking all the stuff that's happening to the West Coast. Rain, heavy rain, snow, heavy snow. As the East Coast gets a bit of a break, but ice is like, I don't know, I get obsessed with ice because ice is really dangerous if you're in a vehicle or on a unicycle. I know that joke worked once. And so I bring out versions of it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. The pink, that's the ice. And so if you're in DFW trying to figure out, are they going to close my school? I don't know. But look at that solid shot of pink. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas. Yeah. And deep south Texas, I'm talking to y'all about a flood. I mean, if you're going to get four to eight inches across this giant swath of south Texas into Louisiana, that is going to cause a lot of problems because right here's a big major city. I don't know if you knew that. You do now. Good day, mate. To everybody down in Australia. Oh, man. I would unsubscribe for me after that accident also. Yeah. You got super nasty heat. And then in some spots, you got very bubbly hurricane-like things. All right. I'm jumping around. We're looking at the West Coast again here. As you can see, there's a lot of activity. Very interesting as, as well. If you're into activity. I'm trying to be super chill, but it's not working. There's your whole kind of freezy line, I think. And look at this little spinny thing heading into the West Coast. California, Oregon areas. Here's a pretty cool look at the overall situation. Today is Saturday, tomorrow Sunday, and here is the next 48 hours of mixed precipitation, because you can definitely see this area is very active, and then you get the um, Gulf Coast moisture combining with the Arctic mass, and the icing in between, the peaches, the ice, and yeah, that looks like it's definitely going to be a problem for some people. Um. If you're in these areas, you know, how far will it dip down into Texas? I don't know, but we're going to watch. Coolio. All right. And if you notice here on the Monday, the 22nd is where the air mass battle will be, depending on who gets rain and who gets ice will depend on this battle that happens here. Let's take another look at the solar storm that could be headed our way. The sun is so cool. It was a gorgeous sunrise this morning with Venus. Did you see it? It's going to be a great day. Reflective double sundog action. Or whatever. So yeah, ice and floods going to be a story, you know. So pay attention if you're in the circled areas. That sure is a whole lot of pink. Here we're looking at Comet Pones Brooks, which will be one of the many interesting stories that will be happening in 2024. More on that later. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Why don't you fry some of those beans over here? Oh, and I posted a video before this called, Is It Cool? I'm asking you a favor to watch it. It's only two minutes and 30 seconds long. 
It's one of my edited videos. And then let me know, is it cool? Happy birthday, Dolly Parton. Also, Jay Bournemouth is talking about a very concerning model output regarding Storm Is Ha, where 55 to 65 mile per hour winds can be expected widely across the whole of the United Kingdom. Winds are likely to be strong, strongest across Scotland, North England, Wales, North Ireland, Southwest English coastal areas. And you might be getting some 70 to 80 mile per hour gusts, possibly higher. And this is gonna be a pretty giant wind field comparatively to storms before it. But super seriously, Tex Archilex seven day WT, WPC wanted precipitation calculation, repetitive string of disturbance riding out of the Gulf up the rear flank of the departed high. Note the New England dip. Yeah, dude, that's. I'm pretty sure this can be problematic for definitely some people. I would guess some areas will see over a foot of rain. And a foot of rain can cause problems. Bernie agrees. This will be a big story next week. Rhymes of rain early week and then midweek from East Texas to Central Gulf Coast states. Flooding likely in an area where. Is exception drought. This part of the country all drain droughts end in floods, and he's afraid. <laughs> I am afraid. Okay, I don't know. I'm in a weird mood this morning. Happy Aquarius season, y'all. So yeah, you get the solar zip zap up here, and then the solar pow right there. And that's gonna be Earth directed. It looks like we think. Question mark Aster. Dear God, thank you for everything. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Have a great weekend. Talk to y'all soon. Are you ready for the strange days of Pluto and Aquarius? I wonder if something major will happen in the world tonight, somewhere around 7 o'clock Texas time. Stay tuned to find out. Okie dokie.